So elderly patients with untreated low-grade lymphomas um, often receive uh, mild forms of chemotherapy, sometimes uh, bendamustine, sometimes rituximab as a single agent. Now part of my uh, career has been trying to develop non-chemotherapy approaches to untreated patients with low-grade lymphoma. We've seen activity with lenalidomide and rituximab, very high response rates. And I recently presented data uh, about a year, a little bit over a year ago, of ibrutinib and rituximab in untreated follicular lymphoma patients. And in that study, ibrutinib and rituximab uh, in untreated follicular, we saw response rates of around 80%, which is higher, much higher than we see with ibrutinib or even rituximab alone. So with that data, uh, we designed a randomized phase three study to look at ibrutinib and rituximab compared to rituximab alone in untreated patients. But again, because we do have a lot of activity in uh, chemotherapy regimens like RCHOP and arbendamustine, we wanted to look at patients who potentially wouldn't tolerate chemotherapy. So the purpose of the study was to look at patients that were either elderly, and that means over 70, uh, or had significant conditions that would prohibit them from getting chemotherapy. And we took this group of patients, again, older patients or patients who were not quite as fit, and we are randomizing them to receive this regimen, ibrutinib rituximab, versus rituximab alone, which uh, many would argue is the standard for elderly patients who, or patients who won't tolerate chemotherapy. Uh, the study uh, is, has been, uh, we've completed designing the study, and we will be enrolling patients uh, with the combination uh, very, very soon.